Hello everyone, I am Lazy Grouse and welcome to Cathay. We are playing as Miao Ying the Storm Dragon because we got a pretty big update that adds more units to Shadow of Change. Turns out, if you anchor most of the fan base with a DLC so bad it tanks your Steam reviews to, I think it went all the way to mostly negative. It at least went to negative. Well, you kind of have to add some stuff to get some goodwill back from the community. Although, to be fair, I don't think it was necessarily bad, just very mediocre and absolutely not worth the increased cost. The cost was probably the biggest issue. Although, that's pretty subjective. But the new stuff looks pretty fun. We got some Cathay monsters, a bird and a flying lion. Or tiger? Let's say it's a flying liger. We also get a gate guard hero, but he's just a guy with a crossbow. I'm kinda meh on him. The reason I wanted to play Cathay was the legendary hero that I don't remember the name of. But it's a goddamn terracotta mech hero, easily my favorite thing in Shadow of Change now. Except maybe the scribes. The scribes are pretty fun. I also added the Dead Cathay unit pack because I couldn't control myself and I had to add it because there's some amazing units in it. And we'll get to see them pretty soon, but I'll just stop rambling so we can start playing the game. So let's just pop in our... I guess you're an alchemist. Pop you in there for some increased mobility and go and fight our first fight. And this is gonna be pretty one-sided, but we're gonna fight it anyway. So we don't really start with anything super flashy, except maybe the sky junk. I guess the sky junk is pretty sweet, and I suppose, like by definition, pretty flashy too, because it kinda kills things with fireworks. And it should make short work of these, but I mean that we don't have any big monsters or anything. And other than that, we just have a bunch of guys that's gonna hold the front line, which is all they need to do because we're gonna focus pretty heavily on range stuff since we are playing Miao Ying. And I guess we do get some Celestial Dragon crossbows as well, but uh, they're not very flashy, they're just pretty damn good. And yeah, let's just put you up there. We'll uh, move you up a little bit so you can start shooting right away and just enjoy the fireworks. Literally. <laughs> I do love just Cathayan artillery. It is so sweet. Can't wait to get some more grand or get some grand cannons in general. Maybe some uh, crane gunners. Oh man, you shoot slow though. Let's shoot back there. And I think we can just speed this up and we'll probably go and uh, well slow you down. Yes. Sit there and tank you a little bit. Pop that, I suppose. And yeah, you're gonna die pretty quickly here. You should be able to kill the... The bowman. But yeah. You are incredibly dead. And I think you've taken a little bit of damage. Might as well. There we go. Pop the dragon. And I guess we should... Have a look at this the first time we do it. Because I do like the... I do like the dragons in Cathay. It is... A pretty damn cool theme for the... For the legendary lords. Guess you got some searing doom, so you can kill there. And just kill the magistrates. But yeah, that... Went pretty much exactly as expected. I think I might have killed some of our... Peasant long spears, though. But that's okay. <laughs> They're peasants. Who cares? So just... There you go. Excellent. There we go. That was pretty acceptable losses. So... I mean, none of these are anything. So I guess we'll just start leveling our... Our units a little bit. That's gonna be fine. And we can finish our first province as well. And yeah, we'll just order us all that one. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's markedly worse than the last fight, but that's fine. So, we do start with a training camp here, but I think we're just gonna tear that down. Because we don't need a tier 3 building here, we can just get it in Nan Lee. And we don't need multiples of it anyway. Might get some just to... Have some Jade Warriors Halberds, but... Mostly just want to get to the Gate Master, and we can get that here as well. So, we're gonna tear that down. Or do we want some... Want some Jade Warriors? while well, we can get them. Let's tear it down next turn, actually. Because I do want some Jade Warriors just to have at the front line while we are not... 
well, well, while we still have it, because I don't think we're gonna start building that right away, and then we're just gonna get a bunch of peasant archers. We do want growth. How are we on the... Okay, we're in harmony, but that makes sense, because, well, we haven't built anything, and I haven't actually played with the new... Well, I say new. The harmony that got changed, I guess, when Shadow of Change first released. So, yeah, because I never played Yuan Bo, and I haven't really played it since then. So, oh, well, I haven't really played it since the update, so... Yeah. But we're gonna try to get some uh, harmony here. Oh, and we're definitely gonna get some of this as well, because we can get some War Tigers early on. We can get a Juggernaut, which is... Uh, some kind of cannon. I don't remember. I had a look at Dead's uh, Cathay pack a while back, but... I don't remember all of them. The war elephants are sweet though, but yeah, I think these are like some turtle cannons and they're awesome. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna grab the income from all buildings and growth. And then just get the opposite with the with the industry on you, just to balance it out. I think that's gonna be fine. We are probably gonna go down this line just to get some ammunition because like i said we're gonna focus pretty heavily on oh wait yin industry that's yang okay so i guess in that case we want the yin industry if we're gonna go down that line yeah this although that's growth I like the extra ammo, but I don't know if we necessarily need it. Although that's money from cities, from sacking. Don't think we're gonna be sacking that much. Yeah, let's let's go the lower route. The and I guess that those two percent isn't gonna be very impactful. It's gonna go up to six. You know what? I don't know how impactful the growth is gonna be so let's just or the harmony is gonna be so let's start like this let's do it like that we can balance with other things it's gonna be fine i don't think we need harmony right away the upkeep is nice income is nice but right now i don't think it matters that much so it's gonna be fine like that and we gotta choose a direction we can go the warpstone desert just to get some uh, recruit rank for caravan masters because we're gonna set a caravan right now Although, it says for, okay, nine, eight turns. Do we want that for eight turns for just one rank? I think I'd rather just get some income. Right, and the growth has been set on these, which we can't control. Which I think is dumb, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um... I guess this doesn't matter that much in the beginning, so we could do this, get some extra money on our first uh, our first caravan and get a recruit rank, and then switch to these for basically the rest of the game. And I think that makes sense. Just do the Warpstone Desert first, and then never again, basically. Yeah, we're probably just gonna do this most of the time rest for the rest of the game, but for now, Warpstone Desert is fine, I think. So yeah, let's get ourselves one of these. Ooh, artillery. <laughs> I do like artillery. And some Celestial Guards is also really good. I mean, if we can... If we can hold the front line with this, the two cannons is really good. So I think we're gonna just go with uh, Artillery Officer. Because I don't think we're gonna get that many Celestial Dragon Guards necessarily. Rather just have the extra artillery or ammunition because we are definitely gonna get more, more range stuff for you. So that's gonna be good. Uh, let's just max out the cargo value and uh, I kind of want to do this delivery within the compass thing. So nine turns is a little bit too much. Wait, it did say nine. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's how you do it. So Myrmidons is fine. Actually, how far is that? That's also nine. That's eight. No six up there. We could visit the dwarves. 
They are... Oh, they're actually really valuable. Yeah, let's go visit the dwarves. That's just five turns. It's a really good return on investment. And we can befriend some dwarves. So I think that is going to be excellent. And yeah, let's just... Oh, we also leveled. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Oh, we got two levels. Um, do we want to go down the... Now we want to... We want to get your special things, special stuff, like Towns of the Night is amazing and regrowth is really good. So let's get some casting on you. Ready to Increase mobility with you. City and... Uh, oh shit. Um, well, let's do the sale. Because we could have done this first and gotten even more cargo, but the sale is fine. We'll get more value from that. That's going to be great. That's going to be like 600 gold. And we need the growth thing. Oh, do we not have a growth thing? Man, it's been a while since I played Cathay. I guess getting some control early on is kind of nice. Alright, so we need to capture the snake gate. Although, I don't think we're gonna be... I don't think we're gonna be uh, fighting these guys. I think I'd rather just confederate them or take this once they get killed. Because, uh, uh, what is it, Satan the Black? Yeah, Satan the Black is gonna come and kill you, and we're gonna have to be ready for that. Oh, we can actually reach that. I didn't think we could. Well, that's alright. Uh, we should be able to get the peasant archers wherever we go anyway, so, yeah. That's fine. Grab that. And, yeah, that's fine, honestly. Let's grab that money. Grab all of that. Although, it was... I'm gonna have to look at this so many times. Yeah, it is Yin industry we want. But this is still gonna give us uh, a nice little income early on. We'll tear that down and fix it eventually. And now we can tear this down. What do we get from... Oh, this is actually growth. That is actually kind of perfect. So, yeah, I think we want to go Yin for a little bit. Just to get a little bit of growth. Because we don't need the extra income necessarily early on, so this is fine. Yeah, so upgrade that. We're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna let that grow. And let's grab Life Bloom, it's just really good. Let's grab Searing Doom, it's just really good. Oh, actually, we do have... We do have that. We do have some nice buffs here we, that we wanna get. So that's gonna be fine. And yeah, just keep passing the turn. And there we go, our first caravan encounter. As the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. His offer is to join the retinue for no pay. There is safety in numbers, but he will help protect the caravan. Ooh, an elven noble. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I'll gladly let you join. And damn, our movement is really good. So yeah, let's go to Terracotta Graveyard. Ooh, and I think we got ourselves a fight here. Yeah, let's fight this. Oh, and this map is going to be amazing for us. Because if we can just force them into this choke, which they seem pretty ready to just get on in there. We can just explode them with our sky junks and some searing dooms. And it's going to be great. And man... Cathay maps are fucking beautiful, man. Just... Damn, they did a good job with the... Like, the visuals of these these maps are so good. At least before we get to the... Like, Warpstone Desert. Then it's not as nice looking. But, let's just grab three guys to... Well, hold this choke. That's gonna be perfectly fine. You're gonna hold the flank, and you're gonna hold the flank. It's gonna be fine. And we'll put these guys right behind. And like so, that's gonna be fine. Probably gonna move up just a little bit. But yeah, you're you're ready to go. That's gonna be great. Uh, you're just gonna run in there. You're gonna sit back and shoot. Or not shoot. You're gonna sit back and uh, cast your magics. Oh, wait. Group three. And group five. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much everything. So let's just move up like that. Although you can start shooting right away. And yeah, you, you can just get going. This is gonna be great. 
They are sending some stuff on the flank, but not, not enough. Let's get a volley in there. And... Oh, can we get a good volley here? Nah. Oh well, that's fine. But these guys <laughs> just annihilated. That is excellent. Um, let's just go and fight you over here. Could probably just grab a preemptive little heal there, just to keep them topped off. And that well, can probably be pretty good, unless they dodge. Well, they didn't dodge that much, and at least we got them to stop shooting for a little bit. So it's good enough. Let's get shooting over there, and let's just pop the dragon form. It'll be fine. We don't really have any mana anyway, so might as well. Oh, hello. Well, you're fighting into spares, so I'm not too worried about that. Not too worried about that, so yeah. Let's just sit there and shoot. And go and kill some peasant archers. You're gonna be fine. And... Uh, give the celestial crossbowmen some buff. Not that they need it, but hey, might as well. Oh, and let's go and bomb these guys. <laughs> it's so slow and and awkward, but let's go. Let's get this bombing on. Kabu. Oh, and it's even slow to do that. <laughs> get a volley off. Come on, get a volley off. Okay, shoot that, and then it'll drop your next bomb. Alright, there's cooldown. It's alright. The... yeah. The cab is gone. You're not gonna be a threat. Let's shoot back at these. Can you drop a bomb? No, but almost. Oh, oh, don't shoot in there. You're gonna kill your own stuff. Um, shoot over there. That's gonna be fine. Oh, and... Come on. Bomb him! <laughs> it's so slow and awkward. God, that is terrible bombing. <laughs> That's fine. Those guys are dying. You can go and help with that, probably. Yeah, you can start shooting in there. That's gonna be fine. Oh, are you? Are we shooting my own balloon? I think we are. Well. It's fine. It'll heal up. But I think we'll be, we've will be we been shooting the balloon. But I think that's gonna be armor losses, so let's just... Okay, let's get a little bit of damage on this guy. And that should be our losses. Yeah. Excellent. So, I guess we should start keeping the balloon a little bit further back, but it's fine. It'll, it'll heal up. But, yeah. Um, let's just occupy it. Don't get much from... from uh, looting it. And we'll just get more of those. We did get the... Empress Croman, which... Damn, that is early. We're just level 5. Alright, well, they are excellent. They're pretty expensive though, so we'll probably hold off, but we'll get them soon enough. Mostly just want these, because they're cheap and really good. Because they... I mean, are they on par with, like, Jade Warriors? Yeah, kinda. Not the armor, but... Uh, the combat stats are kinda right there with uh, the Jade Warriors, so that is not bad. So, we do want that, probably. I mean, Storm of Shadows is fine, but I don't think we're gonna use it. Probably just get some Flesh Stone. Or Missile Mirror, if we can ever manage to get a good one. But yeah, that is pretty fun. But we can only cast it in human form. This we can cast in dragon form, right? Yeah. So that's that's the goal. Because that's going to be the good ship. Of the and uh, magic attacks is fine. I think I prefer... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's just magic and... Okay, magic and uh, weapon damage. So this is for close combat as well. I think I'd rather just get the poison. Poison is good. It's nice. And now we're just gonna go down the casting route with you. And it's gonna be great. So, next turn we can start tearing that up. And, because we kind of need the growth building here. 
But what do we want? Probably want more industry, right? Probably. Or we start getting some of these so we can get some cab. Oh no, we want the juggernaut. We want the juggernaut, bitch. And some iron hill gunner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's grab that. I do want the... I do want the lions, but... Actually, let's get one more jade warrior. Gotta hold that front line with something, you know? But yeah, we're, uh, we're just gonna finish these guys off. Then we'll probably go and uh, grab some juggernauts and uh, iron hell gunners and all that good stuff. It's gonna be excellent. And hungry, hungry ogres. There is a stench in the air, the unmistakable aroma of cooking bones. A band of ogres burst forth, drooling, dr drool dripping from their mouths. They look on hungrily at your retinue. Their leader shouts out his demand. They'll let you pass if they can eat some of your meat. And they don't mean the cargo in the caravan. <laughs> they want to eat the noble. <laughs> now we're gonna fight them. Uh, that is just a bunch of noblers. That is fine. Although, it seems like we probably should have fought that. Let's just grab the replenishment though. It's gonna be alright. And I always forget the damn diplomacy. So let's grab trade. Do you want military access with you? I think I want the payment. We're gonna let this start ticking up and uh, we'll get some military access in a bit. And we might be able to get some money from it. Because I don't think we need the military access. So that is going to be fine. Let's go and take Home. That's fine. Don't need that peasant spearman anyway. And oh, we got the stable building here. So I am going to get me some war tigers. Because, I mean, I want something to flank and these guys are excellent. And I do like tigers. Tigers are they're cute. Little kitties. Might be a little bit strong for early game flankers though. Probably. Maybe a little bit overtuned, but that's fine. Oh, and I should specify, speaking of uh, strength and difficulty and stuff. We are playing on very hard, very hard with some cranked, um, cranked uh, AI stats. So, it should be alright. They shouldn't be too overpowered. And I'm mostly going to use them to take out archers anyway. Especially while we're fighting Cathayans. Although, I guess we might be done with Cathayans now. Might want to go and hunt some Skaven. Which is going to be great though. I mean, we gotta take Missile Mirror. Try to get some fun... Uh, fun things. And if we ever fight, like, artillery. It's kind of a good way to shut down artillery. I forget what the overcast thing is though. Is that just... Is this just duration? Yeah, it's... 36 duration. Okay, it's double. So yeah. I mean, 36 seconds of not allowing a... Artillery to shoot isn't bad. It's a lot of mana for it, but hey, it's, it's a fun spell. I like it. And we don't really care about most of these anyway. We just want to get to Towns of the Night and regrowth anyway. So it doesn't matter. Let's increase that. And you can't get that. But we are definitely going to need the replenishment on you. And uh, we can upgrade you. Excellent. And I guess we finished this. So yeah, just do a little bit of control. How are we doing control here though? This should be stabilizing. Or not. Alright. Well, that's fine. That's not a problem. Let's just pass the turn and... Although, where are we going? You're pretty big. And you can hold that just fine. So that's fine. So I guess we're just going to the mountains to take out Skaven. Because we got, we got some ninja rats over here. All, or, all, ac all across the mountains. And we gotta be ready for when Satan the Black comes and just crushes through the gates. In which... In which... Uh, 
Well, when that happens, we're gonna go and uh, deal with that, but... Yeah, we're gonna have to go and uh, deal with Clan Eshin. Because they're gonna be a problem. And we're gonna have to help out... Um, wait, Zhao Ming? I'm really bad at the Cathay names, but... I think it's Zhao Ming, right? Maybe. Probably. Warriors return. The caravan was being tracked, followed. After moving into a defensive stance and drawing weapons, the potential enemies emerged and turned out to be friends. A group of mercenaries who have fought alongside and spilled blood with you in the past. More like friends than mere colleagues, in fact. So, halberds or peasant archers? Probably halberds. Gotta protect our cannons. And peasant archers. Well, I mean, they're fine. But I think the halberds are good. And just try to get some more high tier or quality stuff. I greet you, so how are... Authority. Oh, you're just fighting... Right. You're not fighting the... the rats. Alright. I crave. And I you don't want to be friends. You almost want to trade, which is nice. Oh, and the river lords want trade. <laughs> they want to pay one gold for it. I'll take it. But that's fine. And yeah. That's all gonna be good. The Bastion is still doing fine. Oh, we got a quest. Oh, no, that's that's Gothic and Felix. I was wondering why, why I didn't notice us getting a quest battle, but yeah. Let's just go on south and uh, grab another tiger. Tiger is sweet. Or do we just grab a Jade Warrior? I think we probably could use another Jade Warriors. Just hold back the tide of rats that we're about to fight. Oh, and uh, maybe we should do a little bit like this too. Because we're not doing great on replenishment. And we got plenty of money to just justify this I think so let's merge you as Serve well and do like that so we have uh, fully rested jade warriors and uh, they're actually higher tier as well and I don't know exactly why do you give us a bunch of no I don't know why they have such high recruitment rank but I'm not gonna complain about it found cargo the rivals a rival's caravan is spotted, dragged off the road and wrecked. There is no sign of a lost crew. Eaten is the guy's guess. However, the, there is cargo in the debris. All agree that it's best to take what can be carried and moved on. Yeah, we're not that hurt. So, take the spice barrels. And we should be done next turn, right? Yeah. It's gonna give us some nice money. We got some ammo. Excellent. And do we just... Well, we do have military access with you, so that is fine. Do we just beeline it to Jingpo? Because I'm pretty sure this is where they start. Oh, and we can get Astromancer. I know they get either the bird or the lion as a mount. I kind of do want that. That's... Damn, rank plus seven for it? That's pretty nice. Now, we're pretty healthy. Let's go and sit over there. And I guess they're going to hold this just fine. Just let them hold it. I think we're going towards uh, Xingpo. Do we actually just march? Yeah, let's let's march. We might get there next turn. And who are we... Tra oh, it's... It's the orcs. That's fine. I don't care about uh, care that we're trespassing on the orcs. And I do think we are demolishing that and that now. Because we're gonna need growth here. You stand before the supreme. Uh, hello. Yeah, sure. But give me more. There we go. Harmony. It's not a lot, but it's something. We can buy a jade warrior for that. Oh, and there's the beastman. Ooh, we got a celestial silk robe. That actually pretty nice on like 
the caster is just gonna sit in the back anyway. Just give middle defense to the front line if it sits right behind them. Oh, did you... You actually took out the Chaos Faction? Still have uh, the Changeling right here, right? Pretty sure that's where the Changeling is. No, not the Changeling. Village. So... But so far... Yeah, okay. You are fighting Village, so... No, okay. You didn't take this. Village did. <laughs> okay. You're just sitting there waiting to be killed. Well... We're gonna go and try to deal with that soon. Oh, that's... That's not bad. Not bad at all. So, construct three buildings that contribute to harmony. I think we've already done that. I mean, I guess from now on. But yeah, we can do that. I do want trade, so let's grab that. And... Uh, I guess we'll start doing that to try to get harmony, because I want to switch this. Because this is gonna start making more money really soon. And we do not reach. Oh, well. let's just sit right there. Now, how many settlements do you have? Three. All right. Well, if we start with your capital, that's going to be fine. And I'm guessing you have, like, maybe that and that, then? You should be happy that we're going to go and fight them. Oh, you're not. You're not even at war with them. I thought you were usually at war with them, but eh, that's fine. Um, right. We need to send another caravan, which works great because we do get an extra level on them you're still fine i mean we took this last time let's do dragon blood at this time i guess and i mean the celestial dragon guard is great so i'm not i'm not sad to take this but yeah we'll do that because the other one has that so let's give them a little bit of uniqueness shall we and let's pump that up oh wait this time I'm gonna remember to actually to actually give you the cargo capacity. So now you can grab a little bit more. And you can go to I mean the dwarves are still really, really profitable. I would like to start befriending the Empire. Because this will reveal a bunch of them. So that wouldn't be bad. That's just eight. That's eight turns. That's that's not worth. I mean, I think this is still best, and we even get fewer fewer turns. To, you know what? Let's do this while it's really profitable. It's fine. We'll uh, we'll discover the empire soon enough. Let's just get real friendly with the dwarves. Speaking of dwarves, do they want to be friends? Welcome. Well, it is improving, but damn, they they do not want to be friends, I guess, because we're too far away. But it's alright. We'll get our trade from you eventually. You'll see. You'll all see. Of the great and, oh, the other caravan master. Um, yeah, more cargo. The addition to my and, hey, we finished the quest thought so. Oh, Forbidden Rod. I do like Forbidden, forbidden Rod quite a bit. Especially on secondary heroes that buff the people around them. I mean, we're gonna yeah. give that to you. Although you should already be immune to psychology, but the physical resistance is nice and the middle defense is nice. Until you get... Yeah, you do get... Right, that is... Yeah, that is a talisman. So until you get this, which will be rank 12. Wait, we are at rank 3. Did we already get that? Oh, right, we need the snake gate. Yeah, that's a stupid quest. <laughs> that's a dumb quest for dumb idiots. But let's go and take Jing Po. What is in there? Just want to see. Okay, there is a full stack in there. They 
do not seem to have garrisons though, so that is good. So yeah, I guess we declare war on this. And that is gonna be a thick stack of Skaven, and we're gonna fight that next episode. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!